Welcome to the first edition of Spartan TV News, where our team shows you the news to keep you informed. I'm Grayson Lusbader. And I'm Leah Denane. Let's get you into this week's stories. Whether you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, or other holidays, the holidays are a special time where different people come together and celebrate their differences. We went around campus and asked students what they celebrate during the holidays. I celebrate Hanukkah, but I also go and I go to my grandparents' house for Christmas. So since Hanukkah already passed, I didn't really do anything. I just spent time with my parents and I opened a lot of presents. And so for Christmas, uh, we have this tradition. I always go on Christmas Eve to my grandparents' house and I sleep over and the next morning my parents will come and we all open presents together. So this Christmas I'm going to go to Houston and I'm going to um, go meet my family there and um, stay at my grandparents' house and celebrate Christmas. And then I'm going to go to Washington, D.C. Then, then the weekend after I'm going to Tennessee. So I've got a very busy break full of trips. Hi, so I celebrate Christmas because I'm Catholic, and this Christmas I'm going to see my family in Colombia, and I'm very excited because for me Christmas isn't only about the presents, even though it sort of is, but it's also about getting time to spend time with family and getting to just have fun with all my cousins and everything. The holidays may be a very fun time, but is pollution fun? No, it's not. I recently talked with this Mr. Rohani Fard on this. Let's take a look. The beautiful city of Miami, but how are we as a campus and community affecting our city? The abundance of plastic, pollution, and trash has to stop, and soon. The amount of trash on campus is scary. Instead of throwing these things in the trash where they belong, some people discard it on the floor or just leave it there for others to pick up for them. We have to be considerate and careful, especially with all the animals living on and around campus like ducks, squirrels, and iguanas. I interviewed the middle school director to ask him about our situation. Uh, the school has eliminated the small plastic water bottles, but I have replaced them with plastic cups. How is this a better option? So I think this is the middle step. This is kind of the middle ground as we slowly move to no plastic options. Um, I think it's not an ideal solution, but it's certainly moving in the right direction. Uh, as this is, uh, from the perspective of the school, moving towards eliminating plastic waste, but not having gone from one extreme to another so quickly. Uh, because we still have a lot of students on the athletic fields during lunch, and there is uh, a lot of desire to engage in athletics. And unfortunately, not everyone is bringing bottles, so the last thing we would want is to have someone uh, have any sort of uh, issues with the heat. Thank you. Even though there is a problem, we have been trying to stop it. And I am now proud to say that after trying to persuade some of the administration that the paper cups would be better, we now have biodegradable paper cups. I hope that this is the start of a cleaner city and campus. I am very happy that the school has taken away the plastic bottles, but is everyone? Pollution is a serious issue that more people have to know about. Fun fact, the Clean Water Act passed on October 18th, 1972. That's cool, but what happened this week in history? Well, let's find out from Ashton on his segment, On This Day. Welcome to On This Day with Ashton Michaels. Let's get started. On December 13th, 1759, the first music store in America opened in Philadelphia. On December 14th, 1903, the Wright brothers attempted to fly the Wright Flyer for the first time at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. On December 15th, 1964, it was the first time that four people were in space. On December 16th, 1912, the U.S. postage stamp picturing an airplane, 20 cent parcel post, was issued. Um, in 1972, that same day, Miami Dolphins became the first undefeated NFL team, going 14-0. On December 17th in 1965, the largest newspaper Sunday, New York Times, was posted at 946 pages. And in 1989, on that same day, The Simpsons, created by Matt Groening, premiered on Fox TV as a full animated series with the episode Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. Goodbye. 
It's great to know the, those facts. Thank you, Ashton. Now let's talk about the masks. It has been a few weeks since we lifted the mask mandate. Leah, how do you think it's been going so far with the masks? Personally, I still wear my. I still wear mine. I think that it was much better since the COVID restriction has become less strict. I agree with you, Leah. But sometimes I take mine off. It has been a lot easier to play sports without the masks as well. Speaking of sports, let's send you over to Zayden for the top sports news. Hello, my name is Zayden So for Spartan TV. Everyone loves Country Day sports, so I'll update with you everything. On December 14th, middle school boys soccer plays away at Palmer Trinity at 3.30. Also, middle school girls soccer plays Carlton at home at 3.30. You can go watch that one. The soccer teams are off to a great start this season. On the 15th, middle school girls soccer plays Marathon at home at 3.30. Then, middle school girls basketball plays away versus Carlton at 4 o'clock. Middle school boys JV home versus Cushman, 4 o'clock. Middle school boys soccer also plays home versus Marathon at 5. On the 16th, there are no games, only practice. Practicing is very important, so you can go to that. The next day, on the 17th, also no games, only practice for high school, basketball, and soccer. The past athletes of the week were Nico and, Sen and Senna. This week, it's Esteban who led the way for the Spartans in their lone goal win. The female athlete of the week is Sienna. She had an amazing game of 23, block, of 23 points, 20 rebounds, 7 seals, and 3 blocks. Back to you, Leah and Grayson. Stress and anxiety are topics most people don't touch upon enough. It is always important to take care of your mental health. If you were ever uh, feeling sh too stressed, remember you could always talk to Miss Kasowitz. Hey Grayson, how's the weather out there? I don't know, let's ask Max with the weather. Hi, I'm Ash Mance from Spartan TV and this week I'll be showing you the weather. On Monday we'll have temperatures of 81 degrees and partially cloudy. On Tuesday we'll have temperatures of 80 degrees and partially and cloudy. On Wednesday we'll have 79 degrees and raining. On Thursday we'll have 80 degrees and partially cloudy. And on Friday, we'll have temperatures of 80 degrees and partially cloudy. I am Mash Mance from Spartan TV. Bye. Thanks, Mash. Looks like a mix of different weather. It looks like the hurricane season is finally over. Now, let's talk about technology. Luckily, we have a 60-second story about it. Okay, let's see it. Hello, I'm Ashton Michaels, and today, in this broadcast, we're going to be interviewing people about how much they rely on technology and how much they think it fits our generation. I think, excuse me, I have to take this call. So I mostly rely on technology to do schoolwork, which in my perspective is very sad because I, I'm not a big fan of doing work on the computer. I kind of prefer to just do my work on the book itself. Well, I understand why it's important because it's easier for the teachers, even though I'm not a big fan of it, it is what it is. I rely a lot on technology for school because I use it for all my work that I study on is on, is on my computer. All my work that I do is on, on my computer. I can talk to people on my computer or my phone or like I can just talk or text to anyone or just to help the teacher and do my school. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. And that was the latest news. Before we sign off, we'd like to wish you a very happy holiday. I'm Grayson Lost Spader. Signing, Signing off. off.